In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to connect make.com to X or Twitter, if you still call it that. I'll show you the full process for setting up the connection, as well as posting tweets, images, and videos. This all took a little bit longer to figure out than I expected, so make sure to follow the steps I'm showing you in this video, particularly around uploading images and videos, because that's not as intuitive as I would have expected. I'm going to go through all of this step by step, but at a high level, we have a Google Sheet. We'll be able to add in Twitter posts, images and videos within this. We have a drop down list here to show what type of post it will be. Then we have a router here. It's gonna watch for new roles within Google Sheets. If it's a text post, it will create the post. And if it's an image post or video post, it will go through those steps of the workflow to upload that type of media and then create the post. I'm going to start with a blank scenario here. I'm gonna to go to Google Sheets and watch for new roles. Then I can select my Google Sheet. Instead of searching by path, I'm just going to copy the ID out from the URL above, Control C, and then enter manually, spreadsheet ID, and that's exactly what we need there, and sheet one. And then I'm going to limit that to one at a time, and then I'll press OK. For the moment, I'm going to copy and paste these out to a separate sheet because I do not want to post these until a later stage. To start with, we're only going to deal with text based posts. Okay, now let's press run once and see if it picks that up. Okay, we have Twitter post A, B. Okay, so we have data there. I've just updated this to this is a test post just because these look very, very similar. Next up, we'll just type in Twitter and then create a post. Now, the first challenge here is that we need to provide a client ID and client secret. This is not a standard simple connection. You need to go to developer.x.com and then sign up for a developer account there. Once you do that, you need to fill in a form, just put in some basic details about your use case and then press submit. Once you're in the X developer portal, you need to create a project. We can kind of call this project anything. We can just call this make.com integration. And then for use case, you can select making a bot. Project description does not really matter. We can just put in internal, something like that. Probably does not really matter too much. We're gonna create an app name to start with. We can call this anything really. I'm just gonna call it that. When you've done that, go to your app settings and go to set up under user authentication. Next for app permissions, we need to go to read and write and direct message. And this will be a web app. And this is really important. We need to add in these callbacks. So we need to go to the make.com documentation and copy and paste these out. I'm gonna copy this one, and then we add another URL, copy that out, Twitter2 and Twitter1. There are actually different versions of modules in make.com, so we need both of these to be added. And then for under website URL, make sure to add this. When you've done that, press save, change permissions for yes. So I've copied and pasted these out to notepad for the moment. Now I'm gonna to go to add, and then paste in the client ID and secret. Okay, I've pasted those in. Now I'm gonna press save. This pop-up will show up, press yes, continue. And in this pop-up, you might need to log in again and then press authorize app. The first time I did this, I logged in and then this was just stuck in an endless feedback loop. If that happens, X out of these and then just try the process again. So I'm going to authorize app and we see that it is now connected. Okay, to start with, I just want to select this text and then just push that straight in a tweet to X. Right click here, choose where to start, select all, I press run once and there we go. This is a test post and I'll see that it has posted this onto my Twitter feed. I'm gonna right click and delete that as quickly as possible. Now, next up, we want to post images and video posts. I'm gonna go and add a router here and I will set a condition where post type equals text post. So that means that this flow will only happen when this equals text post. I will then do the exact same for image post. Go back here, up to label under this, I'll set up a filter, image post, and where post type equals image post. Now, here is a kind of tricky bit. The newer version of the API module within Twitter does not allow you to upload media. So you need to select V5 at the top here and then upload a media. Adding a connection is slightly different for this older version. Go to show advanced settings and then you need to paste in an API key and API key secret. So go back to your project, select the project, and then, whoops, I'll zoom in, go to keys and tokens, and then we can regenerate the API key in secret and then copy and paste those out. So they are copied in. I'm gonna press save. We now need to go through the process again to authorize, and that should now be authorized. Okay, now we can upload an image. However, we need to get the image. So you cannot just upload an image based on a URL. What I've done here is I'm gonna now copy 
this field in, we have an image that's uploaded to Google Drive. We need to add a new module, go to Drive, and then get file. So download a file. I've already set up a connection here. If you have not, go to add and then go through the authentication process. It's a lot easier than connecting to Twitter. And then for file ID, we're gonna select the image link ID here. The image link ID, I'm just taking the image ID from the URL directly here. I'm using this formula, which I generated using ChatGPT, so you can copy and paste this out if you want. But it's basically just taking the ID from this URL. Okay, that's going to then download the file and upload media. I'm going to map. I'm going to save. And great, now this automatically maps. That was a little bit finicky. I did not need to refresh, but before we saved, this was not showing up. When we've downloaded the file, it's automatically now mapping to this upload a media module within Twitter, which is exactly what we want. Then after that, I'm going to click clone and then drag that down to here, which is to create a post. Then show advanced settings. Then under media IDs, we select the media ID from this module. Now we're going to select OK, and then that should be good to go. I'll press save. This is test image post. Now I'll select run once. It's downloading the file from Google Drive. It's uploaded the media and it has created the post. Now I'll go to Twitter and we'll see this is the test image post. It has worked and now I'll quickly delete that. Lastly, we want to do the exact same for video. So what we will do is I'll press shift and drag, then right click copy modules, right click paste. There we go. Whoops. I'm going to add in a new router connect those together and then delete that module. Now all of a sudden we have a new flow there. I'll select this auto align to make things a bit nicer, drag these out. And now under here, we want this to be video post, press okay. Then under downloading a file, we do not want to download the image file. We don't want to download the video link ID and upload media. I'm gonna select video or GIF video in this case. So now we'll press okay. We'll go to here again and change that to video post what we need. So finally, before testing this, we're just gonna make sure that the video is looking good. Yeah, that's the video we want. And now we'll press run once. So I came up with an error there to say could not authenticate you. And I realized that when it copied and pasted over, when I cloned these modules, it actually did not select the correct connection. So when you're cloning modules like this, make sure you're selecting the correct connection because this used an older one that was on my account. We will try that again. I'll choose where to start. ID three, which is the third row. and select run once. So I've run again. I forgot to select video or GIF. Try that one last time. It's now uploading the media and has uploaded the post. So there we go. It's created the video post. If you like this video, then you're going to love our community, which is run by my brother Daniel and I. You'll get access to all of our automations, including some more extensive ones using social media, like this really interesting Instagram script automation. We have an interactive community where people post questions and interact, and weekly workshops where you can get all your questions answered. Check out the link in the description if you want access to our community. Thanks for watching.